the post-game press conference for the Texas Southern University versus McCoon College. Right now we have on the stage Coach Darrell Asbury. All the way on the far end, we got number 80, David Griffin. To the left, Coach Asbury, we have number two, Malik Cross. And on the end, we have quarterback number eight, Jonathan Bowen. We're going to start out with an open statement from Coach Asbury. Uh, good evening. It was a, uh, you know, it was a, 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 a tough start for us, uh, coming off a tough loss from last night, uh, from last week, should I say. Uh, we had a very long week of practice, a short turnaround for the guys and, and for the coaching staff. They put in a lot of hours. And these young men, you know, they went out and they performed. And uh, I, I saw some good things, but like I told the guys in the locker room, uh, we still have a lot of room to improve on. We're not going to settle right here. Uh, there's some things that, that we really need to get cleaned up before we get to Pine Bluff. I told them we need to have almost a perfect week of practice. We're getting back into conference play. Uh, you know, that, that taste of winning is what I wanted as the head coach for them to get in their mouth and see how it feels in the locker room. You know, it's, it's a great feeling no matter who you play. And uh, they came out, and like I told the guys, I'm not going to take anything away from our football team. They came out and they performed, they worked hard. I was just a little concerned in the first half. We we wasn't, we were not as sharp and as crisp as I wanted us to be. Um, you know, and I sat there in the locker room, and uh, one thing about these guys, they're going to tell you, I'm always going to shoot them straight. I'm not going to lie to them. I may not tell them what they want to hear, but when they do do well, I tell them, hey, uh, I don't say good job, but tell them decent job because they can always get better. Uh, I can get better as a head coach. My assistant coaches can get better. And we all get better as coaches, then these guys will get better. Now we're going to open the floor for questions for players only. All right, Derek, you got your hands on the ball today. Talk about it. Uh, it's, uh, it really, I don't know if it, it just, I don't know. Just talk about your play, your, your touchdown. Let's talk about the touchdown. Um, the touchdown, that's, that's something else just, that, that should have happened. Like, it just... I, I, think, I think, you know, with Derek, guys, you have to understand, he, he's a young man that has been waiting on this for two years. Uh, you know, he actually had to drag him in this meeting when he really didn't want to come in here. But... Um, you know, it, it was a route called and designed, and I, the game plan was to, to get him more involved this week. And uh, he's been out for two years. It's a very complicated system. And, you know, and all these young men can tell you that. And what we've done is isolated some things that, that we feel he can do great, and we're going to continue to spread the football around, not only to Derek, but the rest of these guys. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just. And I can understand him right now because I was once him. Uh, I remember scoring my first college touchdown at Jackson State. And, uh, just was lost for words. I mean, this is an opportunity this young man has been waiting for for a long time. Uh, you know, we're proud of him as a football team. We're proud of him as a family. And, you know, take these opportunities. Uh, don't take them for granted, uh, which he does not take for granted. And this football team does not take for granted of each other as well. So. Uh, we're very pleased with this performance tonight. Uh, there's more of that to come. Uh, our biggest thing right now is we cannot be a selfish football team, and these guys understand that. Well, let me start with the quarterback. Go with the quarterback then. Today was a day to, to correct some things, as Coach mentioned from last <laughs> week. Let's talk about you know what went on in practice and prepared you for the, today's event. Second half, when you are, when the game was pretty much out of put away, you were able to, like as Coach said, run your offense and tighten some things up. Just talk about finishing the game that way. Running back, RB. Wide receiver. Wide receiver, I'm sorry. 
Talk about your day today. Yeah. Uh, to me, I honestly felt like I had a great day. You know, we got to win as a team, and that's all that really matters. You know, regardless of if I have a 300-yard game or a two-yard game, you know, uh, doing whatever I can to really just help out the team, help out the offense so that we'll get going and have a successful game. That's <coughs> pretty much all I, all I need at this point. Last week, you came in, there was a scowl on your face, and you never smiled. You, it was a look like... Don't ask me a question. I may cut loose. Talk about the different feeling today. It's a big difference, you know. At this point, we feel like, yeah, we have corrections we need to make. Of course, you have to stay hungry and go back, watch film. You're gonna have to, we're going to have to prepare for this upcoming week. Um, but it's a little bit easier to digest the corrections, you know, coming off of a win. We definitely have to stay humble and play our behinds off. Come back to practice, work like we've never worked before, because we want to keep, we want to continue to have this feeling. You know, this is not something that we want to be temporary. We want to be winners, and we have to have winning mentalities. And for us to do that, we have to come back to work, practice hard, and continue to play. Well, coach, I hear from the three players. Just talk about, you know, what they did today, as as individuals, getting take Southern this first win this season. Well, uh, you know, I always like to start on the defense side of the ball first. Uh, I thought those guys, the second half, really rattled, rallied to the football. Um, you know, that was a correction that we made in the locker room, and I had to challenge them as a defensive unit. I said, we're wrapping up, but we're not rallying to the football. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're, we're just letting our teammate make the play. And and I told the, def uh, the offense in the, in the locker room, I told them that, you know, it's, it's – we need to get, get a little bit more sharp. Uh, we, we, we're there to give you, uh, give you guys an opportunity to make plays for you, finish the plays. And I was pleased with the way we finished the night off. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, as a head coach, and I told these guys, you know, I'm never going to be satisfied until I can raise that, that championship trophy up and let them see how it feels. I've raised it up several times, but I want these young men to see how it feels. And once you get that taste in your mouth one time, um, it's been about since 1962 or 64 or something since they really won a championship. And I want those guys to see how it feels. Coach, you talked about, about the defense. Week one and week two, the improvement on both sides. The days looked like it was a balance. You were able to get the artists from both your, your rushing and your passing game. Moving forward in the conference, to, to the next game, what tweaks this week put you in the same position? Well, I think our special team play. Uh, we can't leave that out. You know, we're going to need some turnovers, special teams. We're going to need some punt blocks. We're going to need to make field goals. I think that's going to be the difference when you have two good football teams playing who wins the kicking game. Uh, defensively, we need to create turnovers and, and cut the field in half. <clears throat> Excuse me, where we don't have to drive the field the whole time. Uh, when you look back at South Carolina State and Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff created five, four turnovers, four or five turnovers. So they're playing to be pretty decent football. The score doesn't tell that. But when you create turnovers, that's always a plus. So we just need to create turnovers on defense, execute on offense, and, um, you know, be able to make the plays when the plays are, are called upon us, make good decisions at all our positions, and. As the head coach, I need to make sure that I put these guys in a position to be successful all week. And that's my job, and I'm going to make sure that I do the right things to try to get these guys totally focused. You know, the most important thing I was pleased about today was from last week. You know, we have a, a totally a whole new football team. And these guys, you know, finally all week they rallied together. Uh, it was not a whole lot of distractions in practice that kind of locked in and focused in and, and came together and that's that's always a plus and if we can continue to do that and get better at doing it and do it as a team and that's what I'm trying to get everybody to understand it's going to take the whole team to win to win football games it's not just individual players you know we leave, we leave that for the media to decide but what we talk about in that locker room is team play um, and, and we cannot be a selfish football team uh, you know the light shines on everybody when you win, you know, but when you lose, then you find people who want to point the finger at. 
So if we just stick together as a team, as a whole, I think we'll be fine as a program. Yeah, I'm done. Well, this concludes our press conference. Thank you. I want to thank both coaches and athletes for coming to the Thank you. Thank you, guys.